My son Aaron wears a prosthetic left leg. He plays football for his high school team at Southwest Christian. Recently, his running leg lost a rubber sole on the bottom. We, we took, took it, it to Scottish Rite Hospital to have it repaired, and the technician told us that we should try getting a cleat from one of the cowboys because Aaron wears a size 14 shoe. We need a large cleat to go on the bottom of his running foot. If you can help, we would appreciate it. Thanks, Lori and Aaron Gill. This is Aaron Gill, a senior at Southwest Christian School in Fort Worth with a 3.2 GPA. He looks like any one of a million other high school football players on Friday night until you look down. His left leg was healthy, then broken, then infected, then gone. As a freshman, Aaron suffered a broken leg, an infection set in, and 10 surgeries later, amputation was the best option. But the passion for the game and desire for life compelled him to battle misfortune. He ran track as a sophomore and was back to football as a junior. Aaron wrestles and is preparing to run a five mile leg in the White Rock Marathon. He is a comeback kid. To watch my son go through that was uh, devastating. The biggest thing pain wise wasn't sitting in the hospital or dealing with you know, surgeries or anything. It was like having to watch my team play my freshman and sophomore year, having to watch my friends out on the field running around having fun. And, I was in the stands on crutches or sitting in a wheelchair. That was the hardest part. He's determined to play, you know. After the amputation, I, I kind of wish that he wouldn't play. And, um, but, you know, that's something that he wanted to do. And so I had to allow him to continue because, you know, to tell him that he couldn't do it would be to tell him, you know, that he was disabled or he couldn't do something. and and that's not the way he looks at it at all. And he has succeeded, and he's moved into a starting role for, for us at the weak side linebacker. So it's amazing what he's done, because a lot of people with what he had to deal with probably would have given up, but he's got him a goal, he's got him a, great, a dream, and it's not only just to play, but to start, and he did that. To let it slow me down would be to, I guess, not be myself, because I can't just sit around and do nothing. I mean, I can, but not for an extended period of time. How you doing? I'm great. Yeah, I need a shoe, sir. Woo, Jerry came through for me. Size 14 for Aaron Gill. It's not easy finding a 14 on the shelves, you know. <laughs> Dallas Cowboys. Thank my, you. My thank you. My boss comes through me for me once again. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? What's up, doing, man? Sir? How you doing, man? Right. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. I see you, man. We got some for you, buddy. You're big, man. How much do you weigh? Uh, 190. That's, that's big. We got some for you. Jerry Jones, Dallas Cowboys. Your pair of cleats, man. Some turf shoes. Thank you, man. That's nice. Pleasure. How you guys doing? Yeah, I didn't. I didn't mean this is rough right. practice, man. I know how important it is to practice. Hey, no, how you doing? How you nice. doing? What's going on, guys? Got your plays? I like that, man. Everybody got plays, huh? <laughs> Can't let the other team get them. How you guys doing today? Yes, Working hard? Yes, sir. You guys doing all right this season? Yes, sir. Yeah. You got a game win tomorrow? Yes, you prepared? Yes, sir. Well worked? Yes, sir. In shape? Yes, Focused, yes, discipline. Yes, well, you should win. Yes, <laughs> you should win. Minimize the mistakes. Listen to your coaches because they work their butt off to prepare you. They know what they're doing. Have faith and have trust in them. I know it all always seems like that, but trust me, they put in the work and they work you hard. So you, I hope you guys, I wish you the best. I'm uh, excited about this man here, man. This is, uh, you know, this is real. What I did on the field was, it was a game. This is real, man. This is a survivor, a perseverer. You tough, man. You encourage and inspire me. I've told all these guys about you, man. For the last few weeks, man, when I even heard about it, I've been telling everybody, and uh, people really want to meet you, man. So hopefully one day I could take you over to Valley Ranch so all the guys could <laughs> check you out, man. Hey, hey. Yeah. That's yeah. all right with me. I'm serious, man. 
Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, man. Appreciate you. Appreciate you guys. Thank you, man. I would race you, but I'm sure you'll beat me right now the way my foot is, man. <laughs> hey, guys, you take care, man. I wish you all the best. Everybody I'm proud of you. Yay football on three. Right. Let's go. Yeah, let's Yay football right. on three. Yay yeah. football. That's right. I like that. Yay football. I like that, coach. Let's up your offense. Yeah, you definitely can't buy those in stores. <laughs> Man, you the man, baby. I got much love for you, man. Thank you. I'm serious. Because when you look at somebody that really deals with adversity, that's what we're in the business of, is trying to overcome adversity. And if anybody serves as a role model, that would be him. Yeah, you know, he's my hero. <laughs> this means a lot to me, just to know that there's people out there who care this much to go and do these things for me. It's, it's encouraging. 